Hey guys, it's Azul. You know, you know, I got a, I got this friend of mine. Um, it's a good guy, you know. His name, his name is Rizzy. He's going over there to the VNK gate and uh, you know, giving these guys an offer they could never refuse. You know what I'm saying? It's like guys, um, got Rizzy over here hitting again. And he's having some fun. I think these are farms. I'm not sure. They look like farms. NGOC, 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 NGOC. Usually the same name over and over is a farm. Got a guy speeding back home right now. Passing a level 18, a level 17 castle. This guy right here is probably a main castle, level 14. Over here seeing what he could do to probably reinforced we're not sure what's going on i don't know what's up with rizzy he got a thing for these viets and you know me personally i usually friend them or fight them it depends but uh i i did use them a lot as allies in my last kingdom not because they were the strongest they was actually the underdogs but they worked a lot towards my favor like vnt but that's another story in itself okay we got this guy over here sending troops towards Dong Cafe. Just for a little bit, just for a little bit shelter. Wait, is Riz about to attack him right now? This is not happening, you know? I don't think this is happening right now. Okay, so Riz is actually attacking this guy. Now Riz is like pure infantry. Like I don't know. Wait, is this? Is it? What is he sending? Yeah, this is this is like infantry build with the fearless knight and an infantry purple hero. You got over here calves, some infantry, and I think this is archers right there with a lot more archers in the second background in the background and some siege for this guy over here so we got one guy pulling out so the level 13 castle now these guys got are online you know it's nighttime in the west and i think it's about to be morning in korea or wherever the viets are resident sitting at about 650k power you know, he's about to give them an offer they can't refuse. You know, even even join a die, okay, Tony? That's how it's gonna be. But uh, you know, got another guy pulled him back. Quad V N D, another V S. So these guys are online. Now, this is day four. It's about to be. Yeah, this is day four. You know, you about to transition to day five soon, but uh. Still day four. Now he hit. Rizzy hit with the guy has some had some with the guy having some reinforcements. Now we're about to see what actually went down. He was about 250k power. We all know that losing about 50k power, that's about wounded. Now he did get the he did get the win, but I don't think that he'll get any kills off that. You'll have to hit him again. You'll have to plumber him hard too, real fast, real quick. But he'll probably heal that up in an instant. Now, if he healed it up, then he's already prepared to take another hit. You'll have to speed hit. Again, to get deaths, maybe. And that's just a probably uh, maybe he didn't heal if he didn't heal up yet he didn't heal up yet he didn't heal up yet he didn't heal up yet
Whoop, well, the fire's out. He did put the fire out, but he didn't heal up. He had the speed. He'll take it too slow. He will allow him to heal up. I wonder if he could have teleported anywhere near. Well, he has these two monsters right there, but. Eh. Oh, he has no speeds. Okay. Now this guy could, he could, hit, this guy could actually win right now, like big time. Now Rizzo lost 20k of power. This guy's gonna probably pop the bubble. If he doesn't pop the bubble, that's interesting. But uh, knowing that Riz doesn't have any speeds is actually like a bad thing. But it is that uh, he healed. He healed. I, I will recall. Twenty K power. Cause it'd be a waste, you know. It'd be a waste to lose that, and then you got more people speeding up right now, coming in fast. All right. So he actually popped the bubble. So. I got, we got about, we got a good hit, a guy popping a bubble, so that costs gems ultimately. I know you probably get, you get them free, but in the future, you know, they, they still, they still needy. You still need them. Now, Riz's tactics are a lot more different than me. I'm like a bait and switch, you know, I like go for the, you know, I'm not going to discuss it because, you know, you got snipers and stuff like that, stream snipers, but, uh, I ain't going to discuss it. And I gotta, I gotta drop some, I gotta drop some money on soon, man, get stuff, get stuff going. Right now, I've just been like hanging out, you know, developing a guild, seeing who wants to stay and who, who doesn't, you know. I actually need players. I don't actually need like to chill around and buy time. I actually want to make some good content and have some fun. Getting spied. Okay, okay, okay. If he was getting attacked, that would be pretty interesting. But he's not. All right. So... Is there any, anybody farming the elite mines? This is what I love to hit right here. These things right here. You know, people are usually inside these. Just like farming all day. It's good to hit them. Now, I wouldn't have hit this castle and lose that 20k power. You know, it's not like a big loss for... Uh, Alright, you can tell if this is fake if you just send it out one unit. It's a fake it's a fake march. So there's nothing in that. So he could actually attack anything he wants to. Okay, now he now see that's smart of him. He's going for the elite mines. It's a waste attack in the castle. This guy um this guy will just burn. You know. Just heals. Alright, so this guy right here, he's just sending out a fake march too. You know it's a fake march is not two rows. You'll have if it's if it's just one row. Is more than um, 10, 
or 20k right so but if it's just one row you know they send on a little bit of each especially if they're only stacking with two archers and this is a fake march and they're going slow they're not speeding up it's not coordinated or whatever like that this is just a troll move they're messing around trying to bait him you know they're trying to make Rizzy feel like okay they're gonna do something so even force Rizzy to think like okay I'm gonna do something first you know what I mean I think this was the old attack I'm not sure Okay, no, it wasn't. It wasn't new attack. He hit, he hit the the farm right here. I mean, tile hitting people. I mean, that's that's a good strategy, you know, just to hurt the alliance, especially if they're like, you know, stronger than you. You can pick on their um, weaker members just to annoy them. Now the reason he's attacking them because he feels like they're a threat, like, and you know, you, when you can't communicate, like, you, people don't understand your language or whatever like that. Like ultimately, they could never work for you to your advantage, anyways, right? So this is a possible person you got to fight in the future. You could say you're friendly, but you know, how for how long? So, but anyways, they're not the, the a real threat. I think that one is a threat. They're trying way too hard and they're recruiting way too much, and you know, and they're turning a lot of things one sided. Their alliance power is in the fit um, five millions, almost six millions, and everybody's around two or three million, you know. So. They really trying hard. They're really scared of something and want to hold the position. But and you know, there came in the kingdom. And I remember FBI or something like that said, you know, they won in the kingdom. They were like, I want let's be friends and you know, develop for KVK. They've won in the kingdom already. The highest ranking guild was trying to establish the position of holding the king. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm going to leave this as part one and um, see how it goes from here. Peace, guys.